Hi everyone, I'm Davy, and today I am sharing with you two squash recipes. The first is a very simple acorn squash recipe, and the second is one of my favorite butternut squash soup recipes. So I'm gonna share with you the steps it takes to make these two recipes. So stick around to see them and I hope you enjoy. So the first thing you gotta do is cut the squash and then remove the seeds. Now I've never toasted acorn squash seeds. You may be able to, but I haven't. So I got the seeds out with a spoon and then I added a tablespoon of butter in each side. And then I put in a good amount of salt and pepper for seasoning, and you could add other seasonings if you wish. And place them on a baking sheet and put them in the oven at 350 for about 50 minutes or until the inside is soft. And there it is, looking delicious with that yummy butter in there. And that's pretty much it for the acorn squash. Then you just dish it out and eat it. So good, so delicious, warm. All right, for my butternut squash, I do the same thing. I halved it and scoop out the seeds of this one as well. And I discarded the seeds. You may save them if you wish. I toasted this for about 50 minutes at 350. Ingredients for the soup include two apples, Granny Smith are best, but I didn't have those on hand, one onion, I had a mix of red and white onion, some salt and pepper, tablespoon of coconut oil, that butternut squash, and then four to six cups of chicken broth, which I have there home canned. Now I put the coconut oil in the pan to saute the apples and the onions, and you could use any oil, avocado, um, olive oil, you could even use butter I suppose if you want. And then I stir that till the onions are translucent. And then I added the butternut squash in there into my pan and stirred that around. Get that all steamy and then I put in my um, chicken broth and if you wanted to just use veggie broth you sure could as well but the chicken just adds a nice flavor to it and I got all of the good flavoring in there with that home canned then I added seasonings of salt and pepper and let that simmer for a medium heat for about 15 minutes I used an immersion blender to get all of the chunks out and make that very smooth and creamy and I had to give it a good old taste. You could sure add more seasonings if you wish, I just did not. So there it is, I added a dollop of Greek yogurt actually. You could put sour cream on it, but it is so delicious, so simple, and a great fall soup. Well, I hope these recipes are something that you can use this fall into winter. I love squash in this changing season and especially the soup because it just warms the soul. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed yet, I'd love to have you join my YouTube community. I do videos on simple and thrifted living, DIYs, homemaking, and motherhood. And I post about twice a week. So I hope you have a blessed and wonderful fall day and I will talk with you in the next video. Bye.